Will Paquin, Chandelier, Guitar Tabs and Guitar Lesson. Okay, so this is going to be in a specialty tuning. It's a D minor 9 tuning. So basically, uh, we're just going to take the low E and we're going to drop that down to a D. Alright, then we'll keep the A, keep the middle D. Now we'll need to take the G and we're going to drop that down a whole step or two frets worth down to a F. Okay. And then the B, we're going to raise that up half a step or one fret to C. All right. And then we'll keep the high E just as is. Okay. So we'll have D, A, D, F, C, E. Okay. So it's an open D minor nine tuning. All right. And uh, of course this song is going to use a lot of harmonics for like this main riff and what we're going to do just hit the open low d and just lightly rest our fingers over the 12th fret here and we're gonna uh, you can use your fingers if you're good with the finger picking um i kind of just like to use the pick uh, we're just going to lightly rest our finger over the 12th fret here and then we're just going to hit 12th fret on the high e 12th fret on that second string, now the C string was the B string, and then 12th fret on the third string, which was the G string, now the F string. Okay, and then we'll finish at the 12th fret on the middle D string, the fourth string. Okay, so the whole thing is. Alright, so definitely technique based here super technique heavy um, and you're going to want to hit that and then we basically alternate endings with this we'll do this first little bit which is more uh, harmonics here um, basically we're just going to drop down to this area the seven five area and the initial ending we're going to be on the middle d string and we're going to do a harmonic here at the seventh fret so just lightly touching it you know not pressing down and uh, just hit the seventh fret and then hit the third string under it, the F string, which was the G string. Hit the seventh fret, just lightly touching, not, not pressing on it. Okay. And then we move over and hit the fifth harmonic on the D string, the middle D. All right. So that's the first ending. The second ending, you know, go through the riff again. And then this one's a little bit tricky. We go uh, A string here, seventh fret harmonic. Drop down to the third string, seventh fret. Okay. The F string, which was the G string. And then we'll want this harmonic at the uh, fifth fret of the C string, or which was the B string, the second string here. And that's the second ending. And basically we just go through the whole thing, alternating those endings. And uh, we eventually get to what I would say is like the verse riff, the verse ending riff. And this also comes again in the chorus as like kind of the second riff of the chorus. Um, basically we're just doing kind of like a, a big old bar chord here. This would be a G minor nine. All right, so we're just barring the fives. And with this, we're kind of like strumming and then we just do a quick shuffle. Okay. Something like that. Now we're gonna like hammer up this middle D string where we'll hit the fives, hammer that middle five D to seven. Okay, one more strum on it. And then we hammer that seven D to eight. And then we kind of walk it back. We'll hit the, the fives with the eight there, walk it back down to the seven, and then just come back off to all fives. All right, all right. and you can crank through that a couple times, I believe. And uh, the next riff we get to, this is kind of like what I would call the, the first chorus riff. Um, 
and it's basically we just come off to opens now and it's kind of the same thing that we were doing here where we hit an open low D and then just kind of up sweep the first through fourth strings here um, but we're just kind of being open with it now open E, open C string, open F string, open D string. And that's kind of the pattern we want, and we're just going to move the bass notes. Um, we go from there to second fret on the low D, and we want the second fret on the middle D with that, so we're kind of making this shape here. All right. And we're just going to take that same thing and walk it up, third fret, and then just keep it going, fifth fret. Going from like a D minor 9 to an E sus chord, F major 7 to a G sus chord. Right, and then we just, um, as far as like the composition of like the chorus, you know, we start with that one and then we go back to our kind of verse ending riff, or right, just the fives there where we walk up that D to 7, 8, and then walk it back down. And then there's a, a little spot in there where we switch to something new here, all right, a new spot. It's this F chord, and it's basically, um, we just bar the threes now, all right? But we want a little, a little something different here. We just want a straight up F chord, so we're doing four on the G and a five, or sorry, four on the F string, which was the G, and five on the second string, which is now the C, and then, you know, we just have threes barred everywhere else. Alright, and with this we just kind of do that same shuffling strum. Alright, and then we split it and we switch to an F major 7, which basically with this, we just keep the threes barred, but we go keep the four on the G and just move that five on the second or sorry, four on the F string. No, uh, was the G. And the five on the second string, make it a four. Okay, and then we just kind of lift off and we'll have an open high E with it. Just a little redundant thing there. If you don't want to lift off, you can just kind of mute the high E. It's the same, same note there, but it sounds nice if you just lift, lift off, keep it with it. Okay, so we went. Okay, so a little uh, sneaky new thing that gets put in that chorus. But after that, uh, we kind of flip uh, the first two riffs that we did. We go back to our, our second verse riff, the, the fives here the walk up and then finish uh, the chorus by doing the open walk ups and then the whole thing finishes by just hitting all fives and letting it ring all right. and then once we get into the second verse there's a second guitar that comes in and does like a little lead thing over the top of the main riff and it's just doing a little something close as I can figure something like this like we're doing like an open low D and then you do this like uh, third string here the F string we do a 11 12 11 hammer on to 10 on the middle D then you hit like 12 on the A all right and then the second part of it uh, we do an open D and then we do this little pull off on the third string the F string we go 14 12 do a 14 12 on the D Hit the 15 on the A, back to 12D. And you just alternate between them. Playing around with that. 